Yo, what's up, YouTube? I'm back again with another video. And guys, this time it's on a cologne review. This is um, Jovan Mus Cologne for men's. And uh, guys, this is uh, was released back in 1973. Now I don't know if this. I'm pretty sure it's been reformulated since them days, but um. Shoot, it's a good smell, man. The warm, spicy. Um, you can't go wrong with this. I tell you that right now. For the price that you'll pay for this, this is an amazing cologne. I will rock it on any occasion. It smells good to me. And then I'm gonna get into the notes, guys. I'm gonna tell y'all what it smells similar to, in my opinion, because I got a lot of. Knock all colognes, I've got name brand colognes, I got oils. I'm gonna tell you guys what it smells similar to. Alright, anyway, let's jump into the notes. Okay, the main accords anyway for this cologne is musky, warm, spicy, aromatic, fresh, spicy, and floral. And the top notes of this is carnation, lemon, lime. Pepper and the middle notes are lavender, amber, mint, spices, and the base notes is wizzy and musky. Wizzy and musk, rather. Now, this stuff lasts a long time. You know, as I put it on, it's got great projection. The longevity of it on my skin lasts about, I give it about eight hours, eight to 12 hours. You know, depends on what you're doing with it. Uh, depend on if you, you know, if you're doing a lot of moving around. I could get 12 hours out of this stuff. Now, if you just sit back chilling, I can get anywhere from eight hours. You know, if you if your body doesn't heat up to it, you know what I'm saying. If your body doesn't heat up, then you know I did, I could probably get by eight hours. But if you do a lot of walking around, just morning, y'all, you know, I do a lot of push cutting grass and stuff like that. And I do a lot of exercise in there, man. I can get I can get twelve hours out of it like that. Easy. And um the scent is good. Now in my opinion, guys, it doesn't really smell like a nineteen seventy three release. You know, it's got more of a modern take on it, in my opinion. The smell of it now, I smell a lot of colognes out today that smell similar to this. And uh, I'm going to name one. Now, I ain't going to say they smell just alike because the notes and stuff probably is different. But uh, this cologne reminds me of Gucci Envy. Now, I don't know if you guys probably agree with me, but it kind of reminds me of a little bit of Gucci Envy. With the smell. But the, the Gucci Envy is more spicier. And this right here is more of the mint. It's more soapy, like a soapy mint, and it's a little bit more powdery than Gucci Envy. But that's what it kind of reminds me of. Gucci Envy, man. If you guys smell Gucci Envy, uh, y'all should know that this right here kind of smells similar to Gucci Envy. And uh, that's, my, that's what I think, man. It smells similar to me. But uh, this is an amazing cologne, man. Like I said, you know, I, I will wear it. In any occasion, you know, I could wear it out for a date, uh, office scent. I would wear it for a club, you know. I like the must in there and the, the spices and that um, the mint that comes off this is amazing, man. And it settles down as it changes when it, it smells even better, like later on in the scent, you know, like three, four hours later. It smells even better when it gets closer to the scent. Um, I think that must tends to leave, um, not the must, but the peppery tends to leave, and then more of the lavender and the amber comes in there, and, um, and the middle notes, and that's what makes it smell really, really good, man. And you get tons of compliments for this. It's got a, like a 70s, 80s vibe, you know, the smell of it. Kind of smell kind of retro at first. Then it moves out, you know, kind of get into more of like a 90-ish, 
early 2000 type scent as to get in the middle notes. That's how I could put it. But uh, starting off, yeah, it smells more like an 80s powerhouse type scent, you know, starting off. I'm pretty sure, you know. But, you know, a lot of you guys like them 80s um, powerhouse type scents like that. You know, I do myself. Uh, it's actually, it's better than the stuff that's out today. It's got better longevity and projection on most of this crap that's out today, you know. So, if you guys look for something powerful, something got a good smell, something that lasts a long time, something where you ain't spending a whole lot of money on, uh, I can easily tell you to go with this. Guarantee you, ladies will like this, man. You get tons of compliments because it's good scent, man. I'm rocking it right now, you know. It smells good, man. I'm telling you guys. It smells good, man. <laughs> And uh, this is one, now, I, when I put a dash this on the other day, and when I was cutting the grass, you know, when I get in the yard, I cut grass like hours and hours at a time, and I could just smell this, this uh, Javon Musk just radiating, you know, the whole while you're cutting grass, you know, I could smell it radiating up, and I only put a, like a little dab on my fist, like, Little dab on the fist, and man, that thing with this, that cologne ready right off my fist from way down here like this, you know. I like that. That stuff project real good, you know. So, you know, I'll give you something, you know, let you guys know about that one because uh, it projects and it lasts a long time, you know. And um, in my opinion, it doesn't smell that, that old school, you know. It's got kind of like a modern take to it you know that's what i get man it's got it's got somewhat of a modern take and um i would wear it anytime you know just a good scent man and you would definitely be glad you bought it and you could look on ebay you probably order this anywhere from five to fifteen bucks easy with this and it's safe to say you'll be, you'll be glad you got it because the projection and the longevity of this is amazing. I'm telling you guys, this is a good one to get. And especially for those of you into the 80s, 70s, 80s powerhouse scents. Um, had a lot of people from you know, now, from then, don't like the, the, a lot of the stuff that's out now. They're more into the 80s and 70s and 90s sense, you know. But um, coming from them 70s and 80s, you know, uh, them sense they just don't do them like they did them back in them days, man. That's when the sense were really amazing right here. And uh, they don't make them like this no more. Now, I'm pretty sure they've been reformulated some since those days, you know, that this came out. Pretty sure they took some out, put some else in, and took that out and put that ingredient in. You know, they ain't gonna smell exactly like it did back in the 1970s and 80s and stuff like that. But um, it should smell similar though, because it's the same fragrance. But anyway, guys, that being said, uh, in my opinion, this is one you probably could blind by, and um, you'll be all right with it. You know, you could blind by this scent, and you'll be. You know, you'll be glad you bought it. If, especially if you're a big fan of Musk. If you like um, Musk. You like Peppery. Mint. You like Woozy type colognes. This is definitely one to go for. And I've been tending to touch on this one because I like this one. You know, this one, I really like it myself. I like the powerhouseness of it. It lasts, you know, it projects really good. I like that, man. And it, like I said, guys, it doesn't have an old school take to it. It's got more like a retro, a retro vibe with you, like shirt open up, kind of like a disco. Yeah, the disco clubbing back in the '80s and stuff like that. It got that kind of smell, you know. But there's a lot of other ones that got that kind of smell too, like Mambo by Liz Claiborne. Got that '80s kind of disco retro shirt, but broke open vibe like this, you know. Mambo got the same kind of vibes this does mambo by liz claiborne it's got kind of like the retro tome shirt style where you party in the clubs in the 80s and you know disco but yeah it's got that kind of vibe going on to it 
mixed with the modern tape. It depends on whose skin is on, whether it had that tape or it's got a retro tape. But to me, guys, it smells modern. Uh, that's why I would pull it. I would wear this any day. I'm wearing it now. It smells amazing. All right. This will go for <laughs> 2017, 2018. You can rock this. 2020, you can rock this. 2025, you can rock this. You'll be all right. 2030, you still can rock this stuff. It smells that good. All right. Women will love it. That's all the count what the women say. All right. That's all I go by anyway. I don't care what the man says, what the women say. All right. So, guys, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. I want to thank all my viewers and my subscribers for watching my videos. And, guys, don't forget what I just told you. It don't go by what the man said. It go by what the women said. All right? So, guys, take care. And I'll see y'all on the next video. Whoa, whoa. Peace out, YouTube.